It's a pleasure to welcome you back to the news program on 22 Hour Channel. Thank you for sparing a few minutes of your day to accompany us and stay updated with the hostess news and noteworthy events that have taken place alongside 22 Hour Channel. In today's news, we have the following highlights. Dear Sir Slash Madam, the village of Pianpo, Liwa Town, Daifeng District, Kuxiao Province, China, experienced a landslide around 5.30 am today. It is reported that at least 10 people have lost their lives, and 12 others are missing. Rescue teams are currently searching for the missing individuals. According to Chinese media, a landslide occurred in Pianpo Village, Daifeng District, Kuxiao Province, early this morning due to continuous heavy rainfall over the past few days. Information from the local government's microblog indicates that 29 people from 10 families were buried in the landslide. At least 10 people are confirmed dead, and 12 are missing. Following the excavation of 17 residents, 10 of them were found deceased, and 7 were taken to the hospital, as reported. Authorities have deployed 800 soldiers and first responders to the disaster area for rescue operations, which are ongoing. Flooding is common in southern China during the summer, but the past month has seen unusually heavy rainfall in many areas, resulting in significant destruction. In Dimthan, Jiangxi Province, 98 people lost their lives in a tornado and hail disaster. A serious landslide occurred on Friday night in the mountainous region of Latu City, Zhejiang Province, China. By Sunday evening, the death toll had risen to 23, with 14 people still missing, and efforts to locate the buried residents continued overnight. According to China's central television CCTV, the landslide involved over 300,000 cubic meters of rock and soil collapsing, burying a total of 27 houses and displacing more than 300 people. Central News Agency reported that the landslide site is located in Laidong Village, Liandu District, Lishan City, surrounded by mountains to the east and west. Due to continuous days of rain, the soil and rock in the local mountainous area became saturated. At around 10.50 p.m. on Sunday, a serious landslide occurred, burying half of the village. Because the incident happened at midnight, most residents were asleep. After the landslide, 38 people were reported missing after the rescue operation. While search efforts for landslides were ongoing in Latu, Hubei and Hubei were facing the worst flooding in half a century. State runs in Huan News Agency reported that the rare flooding had affected 111,000 people in 92 towns across 13 counties in the province, causing 181 houses to collapse and over 8,600 people to be urgently evacuated. Reports suggest that heavy rainfall will continue in the coming week, and the disaster is expected to persist. Last night, in Fuktain City, Kuxiao Province, a mine collapse occurred, burying 20 houses under rocks and soil, resulting in at least 14 casualties. China state media reported that as of 5.30 p.m. yesterday, a landslide in Fuktain, Kuxiao Province, had caused 14 deaths, 22 injuries, and 11 people missing. The landslide resulted in 8 deaths and 17 people missing. At 8.30 p.m. the day before yesterday, a landslide occurred in Ungbin village, Daebin town, Fukuan city, Kimnam province, Kuxiao province. Approximately 1 million cubic meters of soil and rock slid down the mountain slope, causing flooding to inundate 20 households in Tanlon and Xiaoba villages, both of which collapsed and were buried. Nearly half of the mountain collapsed, and most of the houses were completely buried, with roofs not even visible. A total of 294 residents from 67 households in the two villages were affected by the landslide, and 245 of them managed to escape the danger. As of 5.30 p.m. yesterday, there were 14 fatalities, 22 injuries, and 11 people missing, with 77 houses damaged. Local residents near the Xiaoba Group in Ungbin village told mainland media that the Xiaoba Group is located in a mining area and that the houses were buried by the collapsing mountains. The danger had been present for years. At that time, the local authorities stated that the area was safe after expert assessment and would not collapse, so no action was taken. This year, the danger has worsened after three days of heavy rain. After the mountain collapsed yesterday, Cracks appeared on Dapo Mountain, 
and the local government requested that villagers evacuate. China News Com reported that continuous landslides in Fukuan, Kuaishou province, had caused damage to 77 houses in the Tanlone and Xiaobo groups of Ungbin village, affecting 292 people from 67 households, of which 245 took shelter in safety. Currently, two resettlement areas have been established for those affected, with 150 temporary tents erected, 500 blankets distributed, and food and bottled water provided to the affected individuals. Ladies and gentlemen, floods in southern China have claimed the lives of 235 people and left 109 others missing, with direct economic losses exceeding 50 billion Chinese yuan. Reports indicate that the Yangtze River in Hubei, China, has experienced its third highest flood level since 1953. Since last week, severe natural disasters including heavy rainfall and flooding in southern China have affected a total of 34.261 million people across 10 provinces including Jiangxi, Fujian, Guangxi, Hubei, Hubei, Guangdong, Guangxi, and Yunqiang. These disasters resulted in 235 deaths, 109 people missing, and over 300 people in the affected areas. Thousands of people have been urgently evacuated. According to reports from China's official media outlets, the situation of natural disasters in Hubei, Kuxiao, Yunqiang, and other places, which have been continuously affected in the early stages of this heavy rainfall, is expected to expand further. The floods have also damaged 1.946 million hectares of crops, including over 321,000 hectares lost for the season. 239,000 houses collapsed, 640,000 houses were damaged, and the direct economic losses from these natural disasters amount to 53.35 billion Chinese yuan. Additionally, due to continuous heavy rainfall and reservoir releases, water levels in the Trongsa section of the Yangtze River have risen significantly. Data shows that as of yesterday morning, the water level at the Trongsa section reached a record high of 38.46 meters, nearing the historical peak of 39.18 meters. High water levels have inundated several power facilities in the scenic Tuangjiang belt around Trongsa city. Earlier, Hubei province urgently activated a level 1 flood warning to control flooding, mobilizing 95,000 personnel for patrols and rescue operations, while relocating over 100,000 people overnight on the previous day. China is currently grappling with the worst flooding in a decade. Chinese Premier Li Qichong recently visited Hubei, Anhui, and other areas, urging the assurance of the safety of important embankments and reservoirs. China's flood control efforts are at a critical stage, Li Qichong stated, while calling on officials to prepare for more severe natural disasters and flooding. China's weather forecast calls for more rainfall, while water levels in the Yangtze River are nearing record highs, with the Three Gorges Dam controlling the river's water level remaining about 17 meters below its maximum of 175 meters. Currently, the flood from the Three Gorges Dam is advancing towards Kujong and Guangxi. Local flood control authorities stated that if there is no significant rainfall in the upper reaches, Flooding in Kujong is expected to recede below the warning level in about 10 days. According to officially released figures from the day before yesterday, a total of 113 million people were affected by flooding across China, with 701 people dead due to natural disasters, 347 people missing, and direct economic losses amounting to 142.2 billion Chinese yuan. A branch of the Yangtze River is facing flooding due to heavy rainfall resulting in hundreds of thousands of people being urgently evacuated. Beijing reported that Premier Li Qichong of China issued a warning yesterday, urging provinces located at the river mouth to take strict precautions as heavy rains and flooding continue to increase. In Sichuan province, local authorities evacuated over 100,000 people yesterday due to the threat of flooding on a branch of the Yangtze River. According to China state media, the Jialing River in Sichuan has risen due to heavy and continuous rainfall posing a very dangerous situation. It is reported that, based on CCTV images, Li Qichong visited the hazardous section of the river at the Longwang Temple in Hanku, Hubei, yesterday. In Hubei's Engijuan, six people died and eight went missing due to heavy rain from Friday to Saturday, leading to the evacuation of 7,700 people. Engijuan is located near the Three Gorges Dam on the Yangtze River. The Three Gorges Dam is the world's largest dam project and has been in operation since 2006. 
Local authorities pointed out that on Friday, the Three Gorges Dam Reservoir had a flow rate of 34,000 cubic meters of water per second, compared to 70,000 cubic meters per second the previous week. The inflow on Friday was the highest recorded this year, with the reservoir water level reaching 159 meters, while the highest level of the reservoir is approximately 175 meters. China is currently in the midst of storm season, experiencing the worst flooding in a decade, causing 1,100 deaths or disappearances. Li Qichang warned that the situation could worsen further and called on local authorities to implement necessary preventive measures. Quoting a report from Xinyuan News Agency, the Lakfu River, a branch of the Wei River in Waim City, Dante Province, has breached its levees, leading to the evacuation of between 6,400 and 9,400 residents by local authorities. In Wading District, Kamtuk, 13 people were buried alive yesterday due to heavy rain and landslides. Recently, due to torrential rains and the severe typhoon Du Surui in southern China, Nanning, Guangxi, and seven other cities were affected, impacting a total of 1.21 million people and causing 310 million yuan in damage. Southern China has been particularly hard hit this year by typhoons, affecting around 120 million people. In Hubei province, nearly 3 million people in 13 cities, including Trinshao, have been affected by heavy rainfall since Midman. Local authorities have urgently relocated over 110,000 people, causing direct economic losses of 2 billion yuan. According to estimates by the Chinese government, the losses from heavy rain and flooding this year have reached 22 billion US dollars. A branch of the Jialing River in the upper reaches of the Yangtze River, due to a recent round of heavy rain, has experienced another peak flow this morning, while Hubei is caught between the floods of the Yangtze River and Han River. Authorities quickly evacuated more than 30,000 people from Wuhan and Tiandao before 6 a.m. Today, residents are preparing to open drains to divert flood waters. Due to the section of Hans Wyan levee being checked against the highest water level since 1998, over a thousand officials and soldiers have been mobilized for flood control on the levee. In the Qinli Kujong section of the Yangtze River, water levels are nearing the warning level. However, the Central Meteorological Station has lifted the thunderstorm warning for 20 consecutive days, effectively ending the large-scale rainfall's impact across the country. According to statistics from the Ministry of Civil Affairs, since mid-month, heavy rain has affected 40 million people nationwide, resulting in over 330 deaths, 300 missing, and more than 3 million people being displaced. Additionally, a bridge collapse in Lam Suayan, Hanam province a few days ago raised the death toll to 37, with 29 people still missing. In the Han Yu on landslide incident in Sichuan, search and rescue teams have found one missing person, but 20 are still missing and over 1,500 people have been evacuated. The local authorities have provided tents, blankets, clothing, and bottled water to the victims. After investigation, experts believe that the geological disaster was caused by continuous heavy rainfall, with no human intervention involved. That concludes our news update for today. Please leave any contributions in the comments section. If you found this information helpful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your attention, and we'll see you again. The previous news segment concludes the program of 22 Hours channel. Thank you all for your attention and viewership. Please leave your feedback in the comment section of this video so that we can talk live, respond, and address any question you may have. If you find it interesting, please like and click the bell icon below to not miss the latest videos from our editorial team. Goodbye and see you in the next new update from 22 Hours channel.